What's up guys? My name is Christine. For those that are new to my YouTube channel, welcome. You're free to like, share, subscribe. Um, I felt to teach you guys on a topic concerning psychics, mediums, and the occult. Woo. <laughs> I know that that's really intense. But I feel like that during these times it's really needed because sometimes when people are feeling desperate, they run to the wrong source to find a solution. Now I want to speak to you from a place of personal experience. My personal testimony um, regarding psychics and the occult started when I was about five years old. I was in my uncle's apartment and I'm going to give you an example with some visuals, just a, a warning. <laughs> so if you don't like to see those images, you could fast forward through it, but I want to give you an example. So we were at a family party in his apartment, but they decided to seclude themselves in a room, you know, and just watch some TV for a little bit. And I stayed outside in the living room area. So what happened was that I was just looking at myself in the mirror, playing with my hair. And mind you, I never watched any horror movies at that age. I didn't know that there was actually stories like this that existed. So I look at myself in the mirror. I look back like this. I turn back around. And what do you know? <laughs> there is this creepy old lady that is staring at me in the mirror. And then I had to take a double take. I'm like, what? There, there was no one there. Like, who's behind me? And there was no one there. So I was freaked out. <laughs> As you can imagine, she didn't have any pupils in her eyes. And I also saw... Um, a cat that was next to her so I'm like what the heck am I seeing so she starts talking to me and uh, she started telling me I can't tell anyone that she's there now imagine me being five years old not being taught about um, psychics or being taught about um, spiritualism and all that stuff I was so confused but I just said okay and then I'm like mom dad <laughs> so everyone comes out they think I'm cuckoo when I tell them the story. And um, my uncle had said that there was a lady who used to live in that apartment and she also owned a cat. Now, I'm not saying that there is uh, their souls that live here on the earth after they die. No, that is false. I'm trying to teach you about the power of the falsehood of the enemy. Because how he operates is that he will say that um, you know, psychics exist or that there's ghosts in the earth when actually it's something that is called a familiar spirit, which I want to expose to you really quick. A familiar spirit is a spirit that um, are assigned by witches or uh, there are spirits that study people. Um, just like the word of God says, Satan, he can shape shift as an angel of light. So it's not a surprise that the demons that are also under him can also shape shift into other forms. So at a young age, I already started being confused and thinking, okay, so is heaven not real? Do we not go to heaven after we die? So you see how the deception was starting to operate uh, to the point that my family was telling me that um, on my dad's side of the family, that there was something with the occult there, um, that there was apparently some psychic powers there, and they thought I was going to inherit the same thing. So I just want to share that with you real quick and tell you that uh, psychics don't come from God. They use the familiar spirits that have studied you in order to speak things that appear accurate but never bring a solution. The Word of God says that we should never consult mediums with those that speak with the dead. Um, you know, don't get involved with psychics. Definitely don't get involved with the occult. My other testimony is that um, it was a time in high school. I got in the wrong relationship with a guy. He was into, you know, the satanic Bible and you know, stuff like that while, you know, I was there trying to be a Christian. That's why it's so important when it comes to relationships that you don't try to play the role of Jesus, you know, and think, oh, I can change this person. Most likely, one of you is going to change and it's probably not going to be you because you're in disobedience. Anyways, so that was my case. And all of a sudden I started having doubts. I started questioning God and I went to a satanic website and I started to read certain things and it spoke of rituals you know, in order to, uh, to give your soul to the devil. Thank God I didn't actually do it, <laughs> but I was really tempted to. But I knew that there was something weird about that website, and I was just like, okay, whatever, and I went to sleep. When I went to sleep, I had a dream with Satan, and Satan came up to me trying to prove himself to me. And he asked me, he said, ask me to do anything and I'll do it. So then I told him to turn on the light, and he turned on the light. When I woke up, 
the light was on so of course I was freaked out um, and I repented immediately I was just so messed up for that but that just shows that God is so merciful if he was able to have mercy on me who turned my back on him to his enemy our enemy and then I came back and repented and he still accepted me so just know that if you've ever been involved in that stuff it's not too late or it's not too beyond grace God wants to show you that you can be free from this today and for those that have been uh, studying curses, occultic practices, want to play with the Ouija board, want to play with watching fearful movies, I'm telling you, be careful. These spirits don't care about you. They want to use you to contaminate people. And when they promise you these false things, saying that um, you will have um, an inheritance in hell of his kingdom, he is lying to you. His spirits want to use you, manipulate you, and destroy you, and cause a domino effect to destroy other people. So they don't care about you. I've experienced things with these spirits, so I know what I'm talking about. I've had a dream that one of them came up to me and said, I've been here. I've always been here. Like, very, like, angry and aggressive. So that's how I know. They don't care about you. Stop allowing yourself to be used by these hateful spirits. And know that you are made for more than this. You are looking for a solution um, in the dark places. I can guarantee you because I've been in that place, you were looking for power. You were looking for identity. You were looking for someone to defend you. But I want to tell you that the only one that can do that for you is Jesus. And if you've been involved in that somehow, and you say, God, I don't know how to get out of this. Um, I feel like I'm going to get punished when I get out of this. That's a lie from hell. And I want to help you to break that because if God set me free, he can set you free from these powers too, amen? So I want you to go ahead and repeat this prayer after me. If you really want to be free, say, Father, I renounce to the occult, to psychic practices, to witchcraft, to every form of darkness. I renounce and I stand in the gap on behalf of my ancestors, asking for forgiveness. If there was any open door to witchcraft, to manipulation, for your word says that manipulation is equivalent to witchcraft. God, I ask you for mercy. I receive the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. I break the pact with evil. Lord, and I choose to enter into your kingdom of light. In Jesus' name, I am a new creation. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I am freed, renewed, and restored, and my mind is healed. In Jesus' name, amen. And I felt to pray over some of you. I felt like that um, some of you that have been exploring these things, you've been wounded so badly by people. And God's love wants to set you free and to heal you, that you won't be dependent on these demonic powers. There is true power in Jesus' name. Notice how light always casts out darkness. Notice how when a light bulb turns on, that it casts out the shadows. It shows that there is a reality of truth that is in His kingdom. So I'm going to pray over you, Father, in Jesus' name. I declare and I release the power of the resurrection. My God, I bind and I rebuke every power of darkness that has operated in their generations, that has operated in their bloodline and their thoughts. Lord, I break every power of fear and rejection, even suicidal thoughts and thoughts of death. Lord, I declare the power of the name of Jesus. Fill them right now, my God. Fill them with revelation of your spirit of truth, my God, that breaks apart every work of deception. I pray, Lord, that by your grace, they come out of the pit and they witness and experience your love and your light and your presence, your protection, my God, from the evil of this world. Lord, let them see that you are greater than any wickedness, than any curse, than any mistake stake that they have made. God, I thank you that this is a time of a divine reset over their life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. If you were impacted by this, please go ahead and share, like, subscribe, comment below if you need a prayer. I'm here for you and want you to know that you're not alone. There's no condemnation for those that are in Jesus Christ. So for those of you that repented, I rejoice with you. If you're still questioning, I'm going to be praying for you guys. So thank you for taking the time to listen to me and God bless.